Hi everyone, this is Richard again. I'm trying to make some kind of a comprehensive list about openings, and um, it's mainly for the purposes of my own learning. So, so you probably know all this stuff. So this might not be very educational, but but if you feel that you might get something out of this, then feel free to watch. I'd like to try with the queen scambit. D4, D5, because I don't know much about this. C4, and let's look at E6. Okay, now here white has a couple of possibilities. Knight to C3 or knight to F3. And also C takes D is possible, but I mean... Well, Kasparov used to play that a lot, and many players, uh, black players, try to avoid it. I just heard from Chess Explained's channel, but maybe not in this this um, phase yet. Also, E3, G3, which would lead uh, to the Catalan opening I think a3 bishop f4 many possibilities that are pretty flexible and don't and don't uh, shut anything out but let's look at the classical approach knight f6 now here white um, traditionally has played bishop g5 and other moves are still c takes d or knight f3. Let's look at this. It's most common. And now black has a few main replies. One is bishop e7, the other one is knight b to d7. Also c6 is possible, transferring to the Slav defense. But Let's just look at this because we can't look at all the variations. Okay, e3 is pretty common. Castle, knight f3. And now black usually plays h6. Or he can also play knight b to d7 uh, to further strengthen this f6 knight and maybe to get ready to play c5 but let's look at h3 h6 let's try to find the uh, the main main line of of the queen's gambit if there's such such a thing now bishop backs down and now I don't know why this screen is jumping, it's really annoying. Um, uh, B6 seems to be really popular, so this is how black um, deals with his bishop just to fianchetto it. I mean, black has maybe the idea of taking here, so then this line would be open. And here white usually takes on d, maybe trying to get a pawn there, so it would be on this bishop's way or something, and also bishop d3, just developing the bishop, is uh, really common. But let's look at this. This is interesting. Now black has two possibilities. Pawn takes or knight takes. And um, they both seem pretty good. This is way more common. And it seems to be a little bit better for black even. <laughs> so um, so bishop takes... Queen takes, knight takes, 
he takes and um, and now um, white has many different possibilities rook c1 bishop e2 bishop d3 even queen b3 queen a4 many many different plans but rook c1 is most common um here black just develops bishop to e6 and queen a4 c5 queen a3 preventing this i mean pinning the pawn rook c8 protecting the pawn bishop e2 and here it starts to get more complicated i mean black can play either a5 or king f8 protecting the queen or moves like knight d7 queen b7 even getting out of the pin queen f8 and that's that's pretty much it so I mean we could look at the line of a5 or queen f8 but this is highly drawish I mean 60% of these games have been drawn and I mean there's not many example games but but anyway maybe this is the position that um, we can say has been the most common continuation in the Queen's Gambit uh, declined so if someone ever reaches this position then they have played according to um, the highest expectations and it, it, it should be a draw basically so yes if you can remember these uh, 14 moves by white and 13 from black then you know a little bit what to expect from that queen's gambit of course the paradox in chess is that you um, there's really no right line I mean that the lines change all the time the theory changes but it doesn't hurt to to look at something that's been played played a lot so that was my humble video about the Queen's Gambit declined hope you enjoyed it bye